Hello and welcome to the multi-part video series covering the upgrade journey of our white VF, affectionately known as White Rhino. We look at the products that we've used, the calibration here at Harrop Performance Centre, the results on the hub dyno and importantly the results at the drag strip. Our car is a 2014 model with the factory L77 6 litre and the 6L80 Auto Trans. The immediate engine mods included the 325 system that includes Harrop OTR, locally made Harrop full 409 stainless 4 into 1 inch and 7 8 long tube headers mated to a 3 inch bimodal exhaust system and recalibration using E85 with the factory flex fuel sensor. Running up the car, following the custom tuning, we achieved 282 kilowatts at 5400 RPM and 530 newton meters at 4500 RPM. Other driveline upgrades include our large eight pinion true track LSD with the 3.7 gear ratio as found in the manual HSVs. We've got the Harrop Ultimate Brake Kit and for track activity, forge line 18 inch GA3R three piece lightweight and super strong motorsport wheels. At the back, we've wrapped Mickey Thompson ET Street 2s and suspension is our Harrop by KW Street Comfort coilovers. First time out at Heathcote at a 28 degree ambient day, we ran 13.06 at 107 mile an hour. To be honest, we hoped for a high 12, but it didn't happen today. Coinciding with the introduction of our cam and valve train program, we next upgraded the cam using our HO5 grind. All the cams are US billets ground locally to our specific specifications. The HO5 at 216, 224 is best described as a utility cam. There's moderate gains in NA form with minimal effect on drivability, with much higher gains realisable with the FDFI supercharger that we're going to fit later down the track. The reason we selected the HO5 is to demonstrate that you can install a cam that will yield improvements in both NA and supercharged applications without swapping camshafts. It's ideally suited to a customer looking to supercharge the LS later down the track. In conjunction with the cam upgrade, we fitted Moral tie bar lifters, pack double valve springs, and AFM engine hardware removed to support the high lift cam profile. Back on the Dyna pack with the cam, we now see power at 312 kilowatts at 5700 RPM and torque up to 572 Nm at 4600 RPM. So let's see what the HO5 cam upgrade kit with the 325 system yields at the track. Another warm day in Melbourne, the white Rhino cranked out at 1237 at 111 mile an hour. Look out for our next episode when the engine and trans are beefed up as we pursue more performance on the dyno and at the track. <laughs>